Allah gives the qisas in the Holy Qur'an and everything in life is repeats. We don't have to search very far for what's happening and a reminder for the time of Sayyidina Nuh and Sayyidina Nuh and Lataif al has to do with the station of iman and struggle. That it's under the red has to do with the reality of struggling for our faith and that struggle its fruit is iman. Sayyidina Nuh was ordered to oh, build a ship on a mountain in preparation for rain. And the community thought that we haven't had rain for 40 years and why you didn't build the ship by the water and why you got your coordinates to build that ship on the mountain. And everyone has a ship, it's their soul and everybody will be given tests in life what we began tonight with. Every order, every teaching, everything is for ihtiba to follow what Allah wants, to enter into the oceans of obedience and that if the ears can't submit, how do you think the heart is and what condition do you think the heart is in? So Allah give to us these stories, not that you read them as stories of the past but only Allah come and make the story, the reality to be fresh in our life right now, Sayyidina Nuh guiding right now into our hearts. That they have a timeless reality that what Allah gave to me was to test my faith and see who would come on board with what I was given as a command by Allah and the symbol of that angered the people. And in reality people become angered when you try to guide them. This is a bad nature of people. Those whom their character are angelic, they're in taslim and they want najat, they want salvation. Those whom they're under the oppression of their nafs, they're always attacking back because it's not them, not their ruh and their soul in charge, it's their nafs in charge. And that's why that example is a nafs always come, Surah Yaseen, same thing, the messengers come to deliver a message. And those who work for Prophet they're delivering guidance, no message but they're delivering the guidance from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad And Surah Yaseen describes that, uh, if you don't stop talking we are going to throw rocks at you. And he asked, and this is always in our life, when you try to guide people towards goodness and good character their response will be, because Allah wants us to know, are you understanding physiology and human psychology? You don't have to take a class taught by crazy people. Allah give the best reality. As soon as you guide somebody towards goodness, their bad characteristic is, I'm going to throw a rock at you. And if you don't stop, I'm going to kill you with this rock. And the response was, why? Is it that I remind you of the truth? Are you angry because you're reminded of the truth, what you're doing is wrong. When you pass the line of right and wrong, it's wrong. That wrong will open into many different difficulties. Sayyidina Nuh some building a ship for faith and the people of the community were so angered by it that they decided to defecate and relieve themselves on that ship. With all that went into building that for the najat and the salvation of his people, he could have built something small. But Allah teaching that him building for creation and for people. How much Allah loves his creatures when they're, when they're bad with animals, they're abusing animals, they're torturing people, torturing animals. And Allah gave an isharat for His Prophet that saved them. Animals no problem, they come on the ship with no problem, the people 
They wanted to defecate and put all their waste onto that ship and they started to do and do and do and do until the ship was overcome by the actions of shaitan. And every day in our life is our du'a, is the Ya Rabbi I'm overcome, shaitan is, is defecating on everything we're trying to do good, is not leaving us to run to the finish line, every action he's making it to be difficult. And what Allah Fatah abwaab as sama uh, I'm going to send a support to you, don't worry about shaitan. You do what I ask you to do, I'm going to open the heavens, a gate from heaven that will throw an abundance of water. That water will wash every difficulty away for the believer. So what Allah made as a najat for that ship, one of those people who came, this is important in our lives, who came to do his business on the ship and to, to anger the Prophet of Allah and to break his heart, he began to do his defecation and he slipped and fell in his own waist. As soon as he ran to his home in his waist, he realized that from the waist of where he fell in, the, 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 before that as they were doing the most important part, as they were doing this waste and doing their business on the ship and Sayyidina Nu was heartbroken from their actions, Allah sent upon them a virus, a sickness in which their skin began to have boils and blisters like dukhan. So that a smoke had descended upon the people and they began to have a horrible disease all over their body and continued to do their bad and do their business on the ship. And to one of them when they're all overcome with these boils and blisters, one of them doing that business slipped into the ship. And as soon as he goes home, the area where he slipped, he looked and those blisters and sores had gone away. Allah gave his healing in the waste that he had put upon that blessed ship. So that immediately he went to the town and said, oh my God you know I found, I found the solution, I found the medicine. <laughs> and they ran to the ship, they said they put it all over themselves. Don't you see that on the news now, everybody putting all sorts of crazy things all over themselves, looking for a solution. Until they, they cleaned the ship there was not a spot on it and Allah gave to his Prophet, don't worry, they're going to clean it. I'm going to send for them a sickness and they're going to clean it, they're going to take the waste off, the waste will be their cleaning and Allah inspires within the heart, O oh people that which you mocked in this earth of how they pray, how they look, the hijab they wear, the niqab that they cover, why they don't drink, why they don't smoke, why they don't dance. Why they don't do all these things that they were mocked, abused and many slaughtered for their belief. Allah now make the whole world in taslim. He says, I have done this before, I have done it before. Whatever this is, as it entered into this dunya, it bringing the kingdom of Allah upon this earth. If anyone thinks the kingdom of Allah is partying, drinking and doing every type of forbidden, those will be the disease or the sickness which multiplies the disease in which the disease has no shifa. Means this virus when it comes into the body it feeds upon insan and if insan is doing things and it eat up everything within that insan. And it's shifa is what? Don't go out, don't to go to clubs, don't go to nightclubs, don't gather in, in, in forbidden places for forbidden reasons. Learn how to wash and now the whole world is learning wudu. Not just simple washing, they even make now instructional videos how to make sure your gloves are all blue. 
they entered into the wudu debate too. <laughs> Not only enough, you go like this, they go, no, no, like this. <laughs> They're learning how to make wudu. They're learning how to wash to their elbows. There's a, a something in here that has to do with infection and disease, where Prophet gave even the hand to be washed. They're learning how to clear their mouth. They're learning how to clean their nose. And they're learning how to wipe around the ear where they say infection enters in through the back of the ears and the airways of the ear, the passageway of the ear. They're learning how to wash. Then they put on their scrubs and cover their head. Everything you look is like, SubhanAllah, this germ is bringing Allah's kingdom upon earth. Bringing this reality of what Allah wanted for this earth but that it had been come overcome by shayateen. And this is a, a deep reality that we see it as something very frightening. Yes, because judgment of my Lord is coming down, it's coming down. The kingdom of my Lord is coming down. It's going to be on earth as it is in heaven in which Allah and creation submits to God and God doesn't submit to His creation. That they listen and they obey, Atiya Allah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And the Ulul Am begin to teach us. When Allah says, go in, go in. Because we also know from Sayyidina Musa salam, an order came that now a disease is going to enter into that village for Pharaoh to be brought down and to be humbled because Pharaoh doesn't humble very easily. And everybody was ordered into their homes and they were ordered to mark their home with the blood of a lamb that they made a Nazarene and, and a sacrifice for. And to today they have this misbah on their door which is a taweez to remember that event that Allah had commanded and is in the Qur'an. When the command is, go to your home, go to your home. Something is coming out that we can't understand and what's going to be happening, it's from a spiritual reality. So, I mean all of these we have in our history, we have all of its understandings. And from the world of light, this reality of the Kingdom of Allah coming upon this earth from the world of light, not many people can take that Kingdom. That world of light, its magnificence and munificence is not easy to carry. Not anybody can carry that reality upon this earth and many awliyaullah they are crippled by it because of the energy and the might and majesty and many chose for their bodies to go. But from the world of light when we say that these blessed personalities are now entering Everybody go into your home, Allah bringing on submission onto the earth. No out, no drinking, no badness. Sit in your homes, pray and meditate for, for a response and a solution. And then Allah is describing from the world of light that this light of Imam Mahdi that coming, if the people of the Torah when they were going for the tablets of Sayyidina Musa they couldn't go into the presence of the tablets. Every time they asked Nabi Musa let us to make a ziyarat of the tablets, they would die. They hadn't reached a level of purity. So the tablets then were locked off with a fabric and they were held by angels and only the Rabbaniyoon could enter after fasting for three days. They would enter into that presence to get that tabarak and that blessing. If you think for a tablet it requires that, what about the one coming with the covenant of Allah upon his heart? That comes with the completion of guidance, completions of the Muhammadan reality to usher in the end game with what level of purity and son must be. So it means then in the last days many won't be making it with their bodies. Those whom don't believe their body has to go and at that time Allah inshaAllah give their soul an option. You want to just go 
or does your soul want to be of service to my kingdom? Means awliyaullah their da'wah is not to ends only to insan and his physical being. Their da'wah is to those whom have passed and to the souls of insan. Their da'wah is to that which is precious to Allah Allah doesn't consider the body to be precious. Allah's guidance is for their souls, that which is eternal guided. If their body doesn't follow the guidance, get the body out of the way and you see that the soul is standing right there. The minute the body goes down the soul is standing and the soul, the soul is attentive. It has no more nafs, has no more desires of its physicality. At that time an offer will be made, do you want to be of service? And if you say, yes, you reach the covenant of Allah I don't think many say no. Those are the da'wah. Those souls are what only Allah are making da'wah to. So in last days when you don't see إِذَا جَاءَ النَّصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَاتِ that the lines of people are not coming to the reality, it's not the lines of physicality. As soon as you hear about calamities in the last days they begin to intensify because the da'wah is increasing. 10,000 gone, 100,000 gone, gone where? Nothing is wasted by Allah 10,000 gone where? 10,000 bodies moved aside but 10,000 souls are now looking at them and there's only Allah catching them. He said that, you reach your ahad and your covenant with Allah and give yourself to be of service because the kingdom of my Lord is coming down. Then imagine the might and majesty of what Allah is bestowing. How these souls come into this reality, how they reach their covenant, how they reach their lights, how they reach their energies. And all of those, they're all around the shiukh and the awliya, not the ten physical people, but the ten million souls or a million souls that are all around them. Because the soul sees their light, the soul has no problem with its nafs out of the way, sees this light and begs Allah what I didn't achieve in the grave, Ya Arham ar-Rahimin irhamna, forgive me, grant me from your lies. Why well, Allah they say, no, no I'm not going to, say, go to it and be of service, reach your covenant, reach your purpose and with your light now you can be of service to the arrival of Sayyidina Mahdi Salaam, Sayyidina Isa Salaam. It's not the weak physical humans that are going to be of uh, service. If they can reach with their body, alhamdulillah, if Allah finds a need for their body, alhamdulillah. If not, it's the soul and nothing is wasted in the way of Allah When these physicalities go, their souls are all being brought into that reality. And that's why Sayyidina Muhammad stressed, if you die from a plague or from a virus from ta'oon, you'll be granted the maqam of shahada. You'll be granted as if you were martyred in the way of Allah Imagine then the believers who believe have believed and they're taken by this difficulty by the wisdom of Allah but you begin to understand portion of that wisdom. That Allah want to grant these bodies a maqfirah. For if Allah should call that city and those towns into account, they definitely will be punished. And a rahmah from Allah from the mercy of Allah because these are the words of Sayyidina Muhammad to all of Allah's creation. If you should die of a virus, a sudden death, a drowning, Allah will grant you to be shaheed. This clause in this contract of shaheed means you're no longer judged by Allah Your account is sealed by Allah from judgment. That time the soul is not held for judgment of Allah They become shaheed, they can give their service in the way of Allah 
with what Allah granted them of mercy, 100% they're going to be of service. So this is Allah's infinite rahmah. When you look at these cities and towns and people, if they were bad they were never going to achieve these realities. And if they were good Allah granting them the highest station that you can achieve in this material world. The Prophet said that the Prophets of nations of past are jealous of the stations of the, sh the shuhada. Of what Allah grant to them of realities is unimaginable and especially the shuhada from the nation and the time of Sayyidina Muhammad what reality is Allah granting to them? So, I mean there's only good and good and this is Allah's rahmah and He brought Sayyidina Muhammad to teach it. That's why I wouldn't have sent you except that you're a, a mercy to all mankind because as soon as you tell them these laws one day they'll understand. When we're ending the end of this world and, mo and moving towards the end of this world people are not going to achieve these realities and more and more death begins to come by these calamitous ways, by wars and plagues and famines, all of that to grant them a very high station and reality. But for us it's a sign that these lights are coming, this reality coming, the Kingdom of Allah is coming and all that it requires is good character. Ya Rabbi keep my heart filled with muhabbat, to love those whom you love. Grant me good character to be a good example that my da'wah to be based on muhabbat and love. That through good character we should pass in a good means and in a good ending inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa wasila surat al-Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammad Amway YouTube channel your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.